All right, so if you take a look at the monitor, this is the composition that we're roughing out. So what I do first is I know that I want this to be a two-page spread both in my portfolio and on the website. I always print my portfolio at 11 by 14, 14 being the highest. So we've set a crop to 22 by 14, so it's a double page. And we basically just kind of started to rough this out. So I know that I want my bottle and my glass to be just off center in the right, kind of taking up the right side of the frame. And we're gonna have these oranges kind of splashing through the water coming through this direction. The plexiglass you can see is, it's almost not even there. It's really faint and it's just reflecting the gradation on the background. The gradation is gonna be one of the most interesting pieces of this entire composition. It's also gonna be the hardest thing that we have to deal with. It is gonna create a nightmare for us in retouching because as these oranges are gonna come shooting down, it's really important that we maintain their position and the gradation uh, in order to have the best composition and the easiest way of retouching. Still, we're gonna have to move things around. It's not gonna be fun for whoever retouches it. Thank Thankfully, I don't think it's gonna be me, uh, but it's gonna be awesome. So we'll, we'll walk through the steps of this. This is our base composition, and we're gonna build everything basically on top of this. Here we go. Gonna be prepping my bottle. We're working with a couple of different types of clear spray in order to coat the bottle so that the label won't deteriorate when I put on spritz and slush and all that good stuff. So this is one of the many magic tricks that we do. Covering the bottle. Four coats. You do at least three coats and give it time to cure. Basically, if you're wondering what I'm using, it's crystal clear. It's a UV resistant clear. That's a trade secret I just let you in on, but I won't tell you all my secrets. It's still in the touch. You gotta have the right magic touch to make this work. Okay. Let that dry. Come back and do it again. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a walking tour of our set. Remember, we're gonna be doing this Chinoto bottle. We are gonna be prepping two bottles to make up the the full hero bottle. This is our set. Uh, it's a little funky. We've got a very cool little kids tub and it's not just for Gary's fun when the shoot's over. This is to confine water and splashing because you do not want water going all over your studio. It's a bit of a nightmare. Plus we want to keep our power packs at a good distance away and this barrier of the kid pool helps to maintain that water isn't going to splash into power packs. Water and power packs are not friendly in any way shape or form and you don't want to blow a power pack. So basically what we have is a plexiglass surface that is shiny, reflective, and polished up using plex polish to give it a good shine. The glass and the bottle are gonna be sitting on top of that and in our background we have a sheet of metal. Uh, this is just a brushed aluminum uh, background that we are reflecting our light into. So as we walk through this, we're gonna be shooting everything in pieces and we'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna dress the bottle. Uh, two bottles. The one on the right is our main hero for the, the base, for the label down, and this one is for that little bit of necker. These still are not perfectly straight, but it's the best we can get from the production bottle. So, I'm using a couple of my magic tricks in order to give this a slushed and kind of icy, cool feeling. Everything gets hand painted on, so that's kind of the way it rolls. It takes a little bit of time. This is my little rig here that I've made for looking at bottles it's got a little bit of light behind it so i can kind of see what's going on through the bottle so remember that clear coat that i put on earlier is going to completely protect the label from breaking down these are just crappy little paper labels and they will completely break down with all this water on them unless i've got them coated Not only that, the clear coat gives this stuff a little bit of tooth so it can kind of grab onto the bottle. Otherwise, it tends to want to slide right off. Some people will say that this is a little bit like watching paint dry, and that might be true, but it is part of the process.
So this is a mix of glycerin and water. It's one of my little uh, magic mixes. Most photographers do it this way. Everybody has their own little bit of mix. Uh, one thing I will tell you, you need spray bottles and you need to go out and get a bunch of them um, because they all spray a little differently. You'll find one you like. Some of them, like this is for glass cleaner from a pair of my eyeglasses. Um, one's from a little hairspray thing. You never know where you're gonna find one. This is my favorite bottle. It gives me the, the most flexibility every time without question. And what I wanna do is create sizes or drops that are different sized. That way it looks much more realistic than if I just gave it kind of an even spritzer. All right. I'm ready to take this beast on set. <coughs> so this is being prepped offset because I don't want to get all this crud all over my actual set. Since I'm photographing this main bottle from the neck down, I'm gonna grab it, this bottle up here. Since I'm grabbing this bottle, or I'm photographing this bottle for the neck, I'm gonna carry it down low, do it very carefully, and try not to mess with anything. Okay, so I'm gonna prep my glass. I'm making sure it is good and clean. As clean as it can be. Once again, this is a glass that, uh, you know, it's kind of off the shelf at Crate and Barrel or something. So it's not gonna be perfect, but at least it's clean. So ice, really important. This is not a place to scrimp and buy cheap ice because cheap ice looks like cheap ice on set. Um, this is a kit I've had for a long time, but I've been in the business a long time. $30 a cube, you don't even want to do the math, but this is not something to scrimp on. So we're using acrylic ice, and uh, like everything, I'm gonna make selections of things I think are appropriate, and I'm gonna slide them in. This is a combination of both random and planned. No, no, come on, see if you can get it. See if you can no, get a chance. I, no. <laughs>